Last year, while we were in Hungary, we met a man who wanted to build a Christian camp for orphan children. His name is Gabor, and he needed an addition built for his building where the children will come to learn about Jesus. This is his building where the addition will be built and the fields where the children will play sports. In the spring of 2012, the addition was built before we arrived and now it needed to be finished. It is a large building and we will build outside walls, build bathrooms with showers and a kitchen. Then we will put clay tiles up on the roof. But first we needed to learn how they wanted the work to be done. They speak Hungarian, so we needed translation to understand how to finish the work. After a lot of hand language and some translation into English, we learned how and where to begin. The materials are ready to be put in place and slowly but surely we began to do the work. Between Gabor on the left, Emi in the middle, and Roland on the right, and a few conferences, each of our project teams received instructions for their part of the building project. It was a little confusing at first, but pretty soon the building began to take shape. Framing was put in place, and with a few minor adjustments, we were ready to begin putting up the outside wooden panels. <laughs> but first it was time for lunch. While we were in Hungary, all our meals were prepared by Chef Zoli and his wife Etna. All the food was so wonderful. Our first lunch was traditional Hungarian goulash and it was so good. It gave us strength to keep on working. More walls will go up and the outside walls begin. Now the wood is being stapled. You ready? Then later in the afternoon, one team moved up onto the roof with our CMI leader, Harry, from the United Kingdom. Working on the roof wasn't very easy because they had to stand on narrow strips of wood to do the nailing. It was very hard work, but it had to get done, and we made great progress on our first day. The next morning, some began staining the wood on the outside panels, while others were still working on the inside walls. These are the walls where the bathrooms and the showers will be for the children coming to camp. Meanwhile, up on the roof, the team worked to nail down more strips of wood. These strips of wood will help hold the clay tiles in place. Again, the work was very hard and by the end of the second day, we were all very tired. 
But it was time for the clay tiles to arrive and we would need to unload the tiles from the truck and the trailer. The truck was able to make its way up the narrow driveway and we were all so glad because we thought we would have to carry all the tiles from the road up to the building. We formed a line and we passed the tiles to each other until all 1,500 tiles were unloaded and then tomorrow another 1,500 tiles will arrive. The work was hard so we tried to encourage one another as we kept moving the tile to get the job done. It was a long hard day but finally the work was done and now we could enjoy some fun. This was the last night we had any energy to do anything after dinner. The rest of the nights we went straight to our beds. Our third morning began with a very blustery blowing wind and it was colder again, but we kept working to finish getting the roof ready for the tile and to build a porch. You can see how windy it is by watching the trees in the background and the plastic flapping around. It wasn't easy for the work to get done, but it still needed to be accomplished. On the old building, they opened up the roof so they could make room for the new porch. And the porch had to fit around two special pear trees Gabor wanted to keep, so when the children come to camp, they will be able to have fresh fruit. It was a tight fit, but we managed to get it done. Little by little, everything was getting done. The stain, the inside walls, the porch, and even the roof was getting done. And everything was looking very nice. On day four, more stain was put in place on the new timbers that were erected the day before. And then, clay tiles were being placed on the roof. Each of the rows are put together at an angle so that all the tiles will overlap and the rain will run off when it rains. And everybody helped putting up the tiles. At times, some were cleaning the tiles off while others were putting the tiles up on the roof. And before you know it, before lunchtime we were nearly done. A few more tiles, and a few more tiles, and we were almost done with the first roof. Now only a few more tiles are left. One, two, three, the last tile for side one. Yay, good job. By the end of the fourth day, we had a roof and a half already done. And by lunchtime on day five, the clay tiles on both roofs were complete.
and more sheetrock was going up on the ceilings where the rooms were being built inside. Also doors were in place in each of the rooms and in the kitchen. along with some of the windows that were put in place. Now we were just finishing up with the rest of the building and you can see everything was coming together quite well. The roof and the rooms along with the old building and the porch where the tiles were being put into place. The tiles on this part of the roof were probably the most difficult to put in because you had to lift up the old tile and slide a new tile in place, making sure that each of them locked tightly together. It wouldn't be long now with only a little roof left and just the right amount of tiles to complete the job, we were nearly done. Before you know it, we were done with the final tile. At this point, we had laid nearly 3,700 tiles on the roof. We're done. To celebrate the week, they planted a tree, a nice birch tree that would represent not only the work that was accomplished during the week, but also our prayer was as the tree would grow, so would the ministry for the children at Camp Karad grow. And so we gave all the thanks and all the praise to the Lord.